I think people are bored of watching these crashes now, so let's move on, because even when French cars seem to be normal, you don't have to look too far below the surface to find that, actually, they're usually not. Now, let's take this one, the Renault 4. Reasonably straightforward car for the time, but the distance between the wheels on this side is 94 inches, whereas on this side, the distance between the wheels is 92 inches. Why? I've got no idea. Then there's the Renault 21. Looks boring, but it isn't, because in this 1.7-litre model, the engine is sideways, whereas in this 2-litre model, it's lengthways. That meant this needed longer wings and a different bonnet and a different subframe. Hammer's just crashed, hasn't he? Yeah. Anyway, this was an extremely complicated and expensive solution to a problem that didn't exist. And they're still at it today. This is a brand new Peugeot 208. And for some reason, they've mounted the steering wheel under the dashboard, which means it has to be the size of a shirt button if you're to get your legs under it. <coughs> Why? Then there's the Citroen 2CV, which I hate. This car is the harbinger of everything that's gone wrong in the world. Veganism, cycling, liberal Democrats, people who talk about having my truth. There's no such thing as my truth. The truth is that it's awful. It's you not can't... awful. It's a very practical, sensible car that stood the test of time for decades and decades. It survived a war, it liberated the French peasantry. It's fantastic. It's, and it's, it's totemic. That is the most French thing in the world. If you have a themed restaurant or you're a doing a film or you're painting a picture, you think, how do I make this look more French? Put a 2CV in it, or just a bit of a 2CV. But you don't even have wind-down windows. Look, it's stupid. Yeah, but lots of aeroplanes have windows like that. It's a perfect... It's a it's what totally... aeroplane? I've never been on an aeroplane. My got... aeroplane has got a window exactly like that. This is a fantastic car. Everything in it is fit for purpose and no more. I hate the expression fit for purpose. But it is. Well, oh, hello. You... Where's the helicopter? It's evidence. Well, let's not get bogged down in that, OK? Move on. Because even I will admit the 2CV does have very clever suspension. In fact, it's claimed that you can drop one from under a helicopter at a height of 500 feet and the springs will absorb the impact. Really? Well, let's find out. 